gridlock. Start right and gridlock. This is six lithium. Fully completed, we can count six nucleons. One, two, three, bottom, one, two, three. Six lithium. This is the top view of six, six lithium. And when this one moves clockwise, because nature wants to turn as many of these as possible, which makes perfect sense. The more turn, the less resistance there is. So nature likes to turn them around when uh, they get hit by a uh, graviton. Clockwise means this one goes anti-clockwise, means this one goes clockwise, and there we have our problem. Both go clockwise, means they cannot exist. So there is these three. There you go, this one, this one, and this one can't spin together. So they are not protons, they get to be neutrons. The other side, at the bottom side, they're in the same, I call it the same, uh, something flat here, favorite that. Um, they can turn all three together because when this one goes inside, this one goes inside, this one goes inside, so they can, if, whether they're three or four or five, doesn't matter, they can turn together. So the uh, electrons of lithium-6 are all on the bottom side. These three can either be gridlocked, which means they are forced together and can't even turn, or they are ordinary neutrons. Neutrons, protons, gridlocked ones, semi-gridlocked ones, uh, even when they are gone from this member, then they, this is stripped a uh, member if, if uh, that's, possible, that's possible too. Um, all these things react different to gravity. So if you hold it like this or hold it like that, that makes it lighter or heavier. Now, uh, with lithium, it, you won't notice much of it, but there are uh, isotopes um, which are very clearly heavier this way or that way. 